Hey guys, Golden here, and welcome back to another Fortnite mobile video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 Fortnite mobile HUDs. Some that are for beginners and some that are for pros. I guarantee in today's video, you'll be able to find the HUD that fits you. I did a video like this a while ago where I went over the best HUDs for Fortnite mobile, but now I feel like there's a lot of new insane HUDs I forgot to mention in that video, so I decided I'm going to make a part 2. HUDs are very important and will 100% will affect your gameplay, so it's definitely important to have a great HUD. Before we go into the list, I just want to let you guys know, on my channel, we do Fortnite Mobile news videos and a ton of Fortnite Mobile related content. So if you watching this play Fortnite Mobile, then please consider going down below and subscribing with those post notifications on. Also, to support this channel even further, consider using code GOLDEN before every single purchase in the Fortnite item shop. You guys are going to notice most of the people on this list are big content creators and that's simply because all the people on this list made a HUD video so I can show you their HUDs. I'm going to be splitting the list half phone HUDs and half iPad HUDs so everyone can hopefully find a HUD. Since these of course are going to be my opinions, I want to know your guys' so I'm going to be putting a poll in the top right corner so after you've watched the entire video you can vote which HUD was your favorite. By the way, I would also not recommend skipping right to the end because these are all my opinions, so my 10th favorite HUD could be your favorite. I'm also going to be trying to give some benefits to each HUD and say what I like about them. But without any further ado, I hope you guys end up enjoying today's video. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the best HUDs. Coming in at the number 10 spot, we have Fluids. Fluids here has a very well-built HUD, but I had to put him lower on the list because, well, he's kind of a bot. <laughs> I'm joking, relax. But I noticed his HUD is very big button, so if you find yourself mistapping often and you're looking for a HUD to solve this problem, I would definitely not recommend this HUD. Just be aware that with this HUD, it can also make it harder to see sometimes since the buttons are really big and they cover a lot of the screen. However, if you're not worried about this, then it might be worth giving it a try. And by the way, this HUD is a four-finger iPhone HUD for anyone who is curious. Number 9, we have Milo Kolb. Milo Kolb designed a well-built two-finger HUD that was able to fit all the buttons but still requires only two fingers. The good part about this HUD is that it works with both iPads and phones, so you can use it on either devices, which is pretty cool. This HUD has all the important buttons close together, so if you like HUDs that don't require you to stretch your fingers, this would definitely be a good HUD for you. This was one of the best two-finger HUDs I could find out there, and since it's unlikely a two-finger HUD is going to be something like a six-finger HUD, I decided to put one on the list. However, if you guys do want me to make a separate video going over the best two-finger HUDs, be sure to let me know in the comments. Coming in at the number 8 spot, we have Cody KH. Cody's easily one of the best iPhone players in the community, and he has a super well-built HUD that I would highly recommend. Personally, I feel like his HUD is a HUD you could pick up and almost instantly be good with it, so if you're looking for that type of HUD, I would definitely recommend Cody's. Keep in mind, this is a 5-finger claw HUD, but if you're still playing with 4, it might be worth switching. But either way, definitely a great HUD coming from Cody. Number 7, we have Not Will 2. Not Will 2 is a massive creator in the Fortnite mobile community, has been known to be an insane player. He plays in an iPhone 8 Plus with 4 fingers, so this is a perfect casual HUD. His HUD doesn't have all the buttons towards the center of the screen, which I really liked, and it also allows for more visibility. With this HUD, the buttons are also super spread apart, which can be beneficial since it avoids accidentally pressing buttons. But at the same time, it could also be negative if you don't like moving your fingers a lot. But either way, I think Not Will 2 has a very nice HUD and I would definitely recommend it to you guys. For the last, and in my opinion, the best iPhone HUD in this video, we have Tactic Tac. Tactic is an insane iPhone player, might even be one of the best, and of course, if they can play good with it, there's a good chance you can play good with it as well. In this HUD, it seems like you have to sort of stretch your fingers more towards the center of the screen, so definitely be aware of that. But either way, definitely an awesome HUD by Tactic. Music. 
Heading on into the iPad HUDs, coming in at the number fifth spot, we have Lil Grin. Now, the reason I'm putting this super low on the iPad list is because this HUD didn't really suit me. It's a really well-built HUD, don't get me wrong, but I just didn't really like it. I knew I had to put it on the list because it's a really good HUD, but you need seven fingers. I personally only play with four at the moment, so I just couldn't see myself using this, but if you're trying to go pro, this is definitely a great option. Number four, we have the man himself, SSN Santa. SSN Santa is a very well-known content creator in the mobile community. He's an insane player. His HUD is super well spaced out and there's a lot of buttons on his HUD that make you have to stretch your fingers. So that might be a benefit or not for you guys. This HUD is a six finger claw HUD, but I feel like it's not that hard to learn. So if you're interested in converting to six fingers, I would definitely recommend this HUD as a beginner HUD. Coming into top three, we have the man himself, Flash. Flash is definitely known to be one of, if not the best Fortnite mobile pub stompers and players alive, so of course, his HUD is insane. Recently, he actually switched to six finger, but since we've already had two six finger claw HUDs on the list, I decided to include his four finger claw HUD on the list. The thing I noticed is the buttons on Flash's HUD are super spread out, so if you run into a lot of mishaps, this would definitely be a great HUD for you. In the number two spot, right behind number one, we have Grant the Goat. I've always loved the setup of Grant's HUD and overall it's a super well organized HUD. On the left side you have all your important buttons and on the right side it's just more focused on controlling your inventory which I like. This HUD is probably your best choice for a six finger claw HUD in my opinion. It's definitely close between this HUD versus Santa but personally I think I like this HUD better. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, coming in at the number one spot, you've probably guessed it at this point, personally, my favorite HUD, the HUD that suits me and I think is the best, is the default HUD. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. In my opinion, I think the best HUD is Ducky the Gamers. I personally started playing Fortnite Mobile with Ducky's HUD and that choice, in my opinion, was the best decision. Ducky's HUD is super easy to learn, it took me about 3 days to get somewhat good with it and I would highly recommend this HUD to you guys. I'm gonna give some quick reasons why I think this HUD deserves a number 1 spot. First off, the buttons are separated well which I do really like. Also, it doesn't really make you stretch your fingers much which I really like. Personally, I love crosshair editing and this HUD is for crosshair editing so I definitely really like that. And it's only a 4 finger claw HUD which is really easy to get used to. So if you're only playing with two fingers at the moment, I would highly recommend everyone here tries out Ducky the Gamer's HUD. So guys, that is, in my opinion, the top 10 Fortnite mobile HUDs. If you guys feel like a HUD deserved a spot, then be sure to comment down below what your number one would have been. Guys, be ready, because very soon I'm probably going to be making a top 10 two finger HUD, so definitely be ready for that. Anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be transforming the like button into a thank you button. Not literally, but if this video helped you, or you did enjoy and want to say thank you, then please tap that like button down below. 
Also, if you want more Fortnite mobile content like this, then be sure to subscribe with those post notifications on. Remember to use code GOLDEN to support me even further. Follow me on Twitter at I'mGoldenYT. You can follow me on Instagram at I'mGoldenYT. But either way, this has been Golden. Do with this information as you will, and I'll see you in the next one. Aside. Thank you.